you have to model the behavior, and the behavior that you model has to be consistent in everyone they interact with. Let me say that again. You not only have to model the behavior you want from your children, but that behavior has to be consistent with everyone they come in contact with. Can we say, don't interrupt if we interrupt, or if she's around other people who interrupt? Right? So if, my, if, if we say to my daughter, we're working on the don't interrupt thing. And so if we are around other people who interrupt, we have to say to them, I'm sorry, don't interrupt. Right? If I interrupt her and she says, don't interrupt, I have to say, oh, my goodness, I'm so sorry. You're absolutely correct. That was very rude of me. I completely apologize. I will really try not to do that again. If we see someone interrupt someone else on television, we have to say, did you see that just interrupted? That's not good. Uh, that are often used to idealize the free market, to idealize a free society. I'm sorry, too. I, I just told you to go ahead, and I'm sorry to interrupt. Inevitable. And I can go on a long tangent about all the other distortions that arise. I just have to that. interrupt for a second. And across the board, ex destroying public health and destroying ecological health. So, all right, but let I, me just give you a let me just give you a slight counter of those. And the final fallacy. Which now, I'll go sorry, um, it's in constant wealth imbalance, and all the problems that come from that. I'm not. Wait, impressed. sorry, are you saying that the market? Wait, wait. To gain at the possible. No, 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 no. The free market. No, no. System disorder is ever pervasive, and it really does define the state. And I can't. Well, okay, it. but uh, sorry, I interpret it that when I say truncated. Oh, I'm so simplistic not, and truncated are, are terms of respect. I, I see. No, simplistic and truncated are qualifiable distinctions that I'm using in the association. Prove it. Don't I'm say it. Well, Just I prove am. it. Prove, I am. prove it. Don't say it. That's all I'm saying. Well, you can keep stopping me from speaking by acknowledging that, or I can keep going. Is that, can, I, can I talk? And the technical things to fruition, and why can't we do those technical things? Okay, so because let's, let's go back to the math the, the example. Because you were, they look, are, look you and I don't point. have to disagree. I mean, I look at the state as just one example of how this power consolidation tendency materializes. And the true issue well, is no, not just to give you a just to give you a tiny example, right? It's a powerful point because when you begin to look at the stress of our society, when I But we, but we, sorry, we, I'm sorry to interrupt. system is based around these levels of advantage. And to think So sorry, let me think, just understand here. And this idea of the state when I examine this train of thought, I end up with the same conclusions. And that's the fact. Well, that I mean, just just very briefly, I mean, same type of ethic. It's a war system. The entire basis of multiple, you, I mean, just I'm just curious. I mean, because I'm, I'm, the I'm always, basis, let me sorry, go ahead. Point, cheapest possible way. And within but that agriculture, ethic, sorry to interrupt. But, and this idea of volunteerism and everything that goes underneath it, the non-aggression principle, all of it becomes moot in the wake of what this system is actually generating. And that's that's it. I mean, you can call it the free market or not. I do not believe... Oh, so I've... if you say that something becomes moot, you've made a point. Well, I say that your system has become moot. Victory! You're just going to keep doing what you're doing, and it's obviously not going to end up with any type of solution. So let's just agree to disagree on that one. My issue comes down... <laughs> no, to the I fact don't agree to disagree, structure. but go ahead. Fine. My issue I think comes that's down a complete cop out. Capacity to not have to endure this type of suffering that is deeply unnecessary because of things like market correction and invariably. And this is what you know. I mean, Peter, you're a, you're a great talker, but I got to tell you, it's incredibly frustrating to talk to you because we went over this at the very Likewise. beginning. 